this is Laura Shigihara. I hope you guys are having a good week. This video is going to give you a little background on the piano video that I just posted over at my main channel. Maybe you're thinking like, oh, you post Mega Man music videos all the time, what's special about this one? So, Hard Man's theme from Mega Man 3 was actually the first piece of video game music that I really, truly loved and I learned how to play on the piano by ear when I was a kid. For those of you who are new to my channel or are not familiar with my original work, I'm actually a professional video game composer. I make music for games for a living. I've worked on over 25 different published video game titles, probably the most well-known one that's been released being Plants vs. Zombies. I've worked with all sorts of different companies, everything from small 1-2% to person indie dev studios all the way up to companies like EA and Sony and PopCap, and I absolutely love my job. This is a passion of mine. It's something that I've loved ever since I was a kid. I've been a gamer my whole life, um, a musician and since I was five when my parents first let me take piano lessons, and I'm actually very much into video game music specifically and I think I started noticing video game music when we rented Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3 from our local video store. I actually started recording the stages on cassette tape because I liked them so much and I wanted to be able to listen to them after we returned the games to the store. So I had this cassette tape just like entirely full of Mega Man music and I would uh, work on that and start playing that on the piano instead of my classical piano lesson. <laughs> so sorry to my teachers for procrastinating uh, my homework in favor of playing video game songs. I remember at that time thinking that nobody else out there liked video game music. I tried to tell people about it, but nobody really understood. Like none of my friends were really into video game music. A lot of them played games, but they didn't really pay attention to the music. Um, and my piano teachers especially were like, it just sounds like beeps. <laughs> but to me, I always thought that the music from those days, like Nintendo and Super Nintendo, I always thought that music was very special for a number of reasons. Um, it's very catchy, it's very melodic, and I still remember a lot of the, uh, the tunes from those games, even so many years later. But at the same time, it wasn't just like a very simple tune that played over and over again. If you go back and you listen to those arrangements, they were actually really complex. and. I, I guess that makes sense when you think about it, because a lot of those early composers were um, classically trained pianists or violinists, um, so they really understood theory, they really understood um, lots of different genres of music. Because there were so many space limitations in old Nintendo games especially, composers had to be very, very creative with their composition. They couldn't use live orchestras, they couldn't use live instruments or high quality samples or anything like that. They entirely had to rely on their abilities um, as composers. So they came up with these incredibly complex, interesting compositions that could be played over and over again and not get annoying. And somehow they were still very relatable. They still had very memorable melodies. The second reason is that even though they had a lot of limitations in terms of technology, they actually had more freedom than say like record labels in terms of genres. So you would get these crazy mashups of different kinds of genres in video game music. Like looking at Castlevania for example, it's like gothic classical music mixed with uh, synthesized metal instruments, and so it was just this like crazy combination of themes. I don't think that I had heard anything like that before. Anyways, so the Hard Man theme that I posted on my channel is very special to me because it's the first one I learned, um, and I think it was around that time that I thought, you know, it would be really cool to make music for video games for a living. One more thing, I have to do two shoutouts. I told a very nice girl named Rebecca that I would say happy birthday to her boyfriend Max. His birthday was on November 23rd, so it's a bit late, but uh, I was not available at the time. and Hopefully better late than never, right? So happy birthday, Max. I hope you had a wonderful day, and I hope that this year is a great one for you. I also wanted to say happy birthday to my friend Reeves. His birthday was on the 27th, and... Um, Happy birthday, Reeves. I hope you had a great day. These are my grr wrist warmers.